Welcome to an example on how to use the T84 TVM solver in order to determine the future value of an annuity. Let's look at our example. You deposit $200 each month into an account earning 3% interest compounded monthly. A, how much will you have in the account in 30 years? B, how much total money will you put into the account? And C, how much total interest will you earn? So again, we'll solve this using the TMV solver. To access the solver, we press apps, enter to access the finance menu, and enter to access the TVM solver. We'll enter all the values here except future value, which we'll come back and solve for. N is equal to the total number of compounds over the 30 years, and because the interest is compounded monthly, and there's 12 months per year, N is going to be 30 times 12, or 360. We can enter 360, or we can enter 30 times 12. When we press enter, it will calculate this value for us. The interest rate is 3%, so we enter 3 for the interest rate. Enter. The present value of the starting balance would be 0, so we press 0, enter. The payment amount is $200 per month. Because we're paying this amount, the payment is going to be negative 200. Enter. We're solving for the future value, so we'll come back to this. So we'll press enter. Payments per year, we're making monthly payments. So there's 12 payments per year. So we enter 12, enter. This automatically changes the compounds per year to 12, which in this case is correct because the interest is compounded monthly. Remember, if they don't tell us how the interest is compounded, we assume it's the same as the number of payments per year. Now we'll go back up to future value, which we're solving for, and we'll press alpha enter. And notice how the calculator puts a square here on the far left, indicating we solve for this value. The future value is $116,547.38 to the nearest cent, which is the account balance after 30 years. Part B, how much total money will you put into the account? Well, you're paying $200 a month for 30 years, so let's go to the home screen by pressing second mode. So the total amount paid is $200 times 12 months times 30 years, which is equal to $72,000. The last question, how much total interest will you earn? Well, you paid $72,000 into the account, which is now worth $116,547.38, so the difference will give us the total interest earned. So we'd have 116,547.38 minus 72,000, which is equal to $44,547.38, which is the total interest earned. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.